Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to part one of a two-part mini-series here on the channel. Now, as you may well know if you've seen on social media or heard me talk about it in a video or on a stream, I'm on my way to EA Play in Los Angeles this coming week to, uh, to get my hands on FIFA 19 to play some World Cup DLC and uh, to generally see what's coming in the future with regards to EA and their games. However, whilst that's all going on, we're actually running a tournament amongst all of the other game changes that are going out to the tournament and we're actually running a game changes tourney while we're out there. Now how that tournament is going to work is that one person from each region will get to play with their nation's side. So obviously as far as I'm aware there's one guy going from Brazil so he will get to play as Brazil in the game changer tournament at EA Play. Now the situation is there are actually six of us going from England. Now Mav and Wolfie unfortunately for them have been at Amsterdam this past week with the Foot Champions event, so aren't able to play in this pre-tourney tourney. However, myself, Bates, and Matt HC Gamer and Lasty are all involved here as we push towards uh, finding out who's going to be able to play as England in that tournament. There are other sides available for those that don't end up winning. Those other sides are Croatia, Russia, Serbia, Korea, and Panama. And Mav and Wolfie will get assigned one of those sides as well as will the rest of us that don't end up winning this particular tournament. We're all going to play as England, and it's a leg each. So uh, the first leg actually has already gone live over on Bateson's channel with regards to uh, my particular matchup. You will see in the first episode on his channel as well that uh, there's a little draw that Swayback did for us, which was very kind of him, where he pulled Bateson out the hat to play me, and then Matt pulled out the hat to play against Tom or Lasty. I'll leave a link to everyone's channels in the description, but... I'm the smallest of the three guys. I'm pretty sure uh, you would know who uh, everyone else is by this point anyway. But, uh, like I say, this is leg two. So to avoid spoilers, go and watch leg one on Bateson's channel. And then uh, I'll cut and we'll jump into the second leg here on my channel. Uh, but yeah, avoid spoilers because I'm about to spoil what happened in leg number one. Have you left? Okay, good. Right. Leg one didn't go well, did it, lads? No, no, it did not. It was my first game on the DLC online and uh, well it, uh, it didn't go according to plan so I'm hoping that game number two can go substantially better but we will find out how it's going to go in a moment I'm not going to play this 5-2-1-2 uh, two, two that you see on my screen I'm going to go with a 4-2-3-1 wide uh, I played uh, a 4-2-3-1 narrow in the first game and it just didn't work for me but the 4-2-3-1 wide might help me keep possession a little bit better so that's my plan keep hold of the ball Try my best to work myself back into the tie. It's a long shot. Pretty sure it's not going to happen, but we'll give it a go anyway. Let's go and play leg number two. The last time they played, right, here we go. Losing, Game on. Hopefully I can avoid solid. score or conceding rather this after the opening two minutes this time around. And we have been able to... Might not have been able to do that. I don't know what it is with this World Cup DLC. I just cannot get my passing game going. Thankfully, Harry Kane puts the ball over the bar. Otherwise, um, I might well have been 1-0 down early on again. <laughs> that game, that first game against Bateson and now this second game are my first games on the, uh, the DLC online since the capture event a couple of weeks ago. And, well, you can tell, aren't you? It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious that... A, I don't play online for a living. I play career mode. And B, Bateson is just a damn good player. So uh, <laughs> I struggled in the first game. I'm just hoping to avoid embarrassment second time around. Deli Ali's first touch should be better. That'd be uh, handy. But we'll see what we can do on this particular move. My passing always seems to get picked off for some reason. I don't know why. He has his defenders positioned superbly every single time. And I just can't seem to work my way into the box or have an opportunity. Trying my best to work something, but it just it just can't it just well, I can't do it. <laughs> I just straight up can't do it. I'm gonna try and switch this. I'm gonna try and be a, a lot more patient this time than I was in that first leg. But Danny Rose there just completely turned his back on everything that was going on in front of him. So I'm not entirely too sure how I'm supposed to have efforts on goal or build something if my players just don't pay attention. Jordan Henderson with the ball into the box. This is the strongest passage of play I've had in 
both games, but of he's course it ends with Bateson clearing the ball away. And now he's on the counter-attack. It was in opportunities like this where his passing was just so much so much slicker than anything I'd experienced. That's a pen. Ball played through. It's threaded expertly through three defenders. And he's got himself a pen here. I'm not sure which way Harry Kane's going to go. I'm going to guess down low to the left. And I've been able to save it. I've saved face initially in the opening few moments. But... I'm not entirely too sure why my defenders watched that through ball get through. Basically, if you come across from Bates' channel, sorry, <laughs> I can only apologise for the standard or lack of standard of football that I've played in these two games to this point. I just cannot get going whatsoever and I've been really, really bad. I promise you, if you watch... Jesse Lingard! What are you doing? Uh, I promise you that in other games and in other videos, my quality of football is infinitely better than you've witnessed in these games. <sighs> I'm, I'm just lost for words. A, how bad I'm playing, and B, how bad that effort from Jesse Lingard was. That was the perfect opportunity to get myself a 1-0 lead here and at least score one in these two games against Bateson. I played my AC Gamer at the capture event and actually was able to get myself a 4-1 victory in our uh, in my first game online at the capture event. But I think I just got really bad luck of the draw. But I've been better in this second game than I was in the first by a margin. He's going to expect the 1-2 there. He's thrown himself in. Oh, see, through balls like that, whenever Bateson seems to play them, always find their opponent or find their re recipient, sorry. And mine... Nine times out of ten, get picked off. It's so incredibly frustrating. I am definitely getting better, though. Like I say, these games against Bates are my first first two games on the online game mode. Oh, and Deli Ali very nearly scores me a spectacular opening goal. I think I was 2-0 down by this point in game number one. Harry Kane could be underneath this, flicks that on well enough, but I'm not going to get to it. You will notice as well, if you're new across here at the channel, that... I have a tendency to waffle on in live commentaries, and there is a theme. Rashford's in behind, and that will probably be, but isn't, a 1-0 lead for Bateson in the second leg. 35 minutes in, Bateson has been not... Actually, oh, that was meant for Jamie Vardy. Not Jamie Vardy, Jesse Lingard. He's not been as dominant in this one as he was in the first game, but it's not every player I play against where I feel every single attack the opposition has a chance of scoring. But with, with Bates, every single time he's in possession, I'm terrified I'm going to concede a goal. And judging by the first game, 80% of the time I actually do end up conceding a goal. If I can get it to half-time at 0-0, then I'd be very pleased with my first-class uh, first performance here. Sterling will just do a quick turn and look to get that forward. Kane quickly around the corner and go for the 1-2. Oh, that is a chop from behind. From Phil Jones. He might be lucky to avoid a booking here. Referee's he's going to come across. I think it will be a yellow card for him. Uh, referee's going to go to his top pocket, I do believe. Well, that's risky going in like that. All right, now, the question is, do I shoot from here? What are Harry Kane's free kick stats like? 68 free kick accuracy, yeah? That sums up Harry Kane pretty well. He wants to close me down. He knows I'm going to play it short. Mainly because I don't have an option. Try and play a quick one too. Get it across here to Sterling. Adam Lallana from the edge, that's poor. Got to be better. Got to be better. It's not good enough. And now here we go on the counter-attack again. And as is usually the case, I look shaky and like I'm going to concede a goal. Delhi, if you could just look at the ball when it's on its way to you, that would be appreciated. Wait for the to Rashford. Nice little one-two with Phil Jones intercepts. Delhi, show some strength, mate. He just... I'll be honest... I'm panicking. Every single time Bates gets forwards like this, I panic. And I have to I have to throw a leg in. I think it's safe to say, even as we approach half-time at 0-0 in this second leg, that I won't be getting myself through to the winner's bracket final of this little mini-series. Pretty, uh, pretty confident that that is the case. I'm waiting for some sort of through ball here. There it is. And it's impossible to deal against... Ah, with anyone, I tried to switch to someone in the wall. 
and they just stood there. I, what I should have done is read the run. It was the run of Rashford, actually, that put me off there. That was one I was thinking about tracking. In the end, it was he went left of the ball rather than to the right of the ball, which is what I expected, and I just didn't switch. I didn't switch quickly enough to someone on that side of the wall to close Harry Kane down. I've actually been much better in this second leg. Far, far improved, but I'm still losing, so never mind. Uh, we'll push forward into the second half. I'm not going to make any changes as things stand. I think, at the minute, just getting on the score sheet would be a, vi would be a victory for me. I cannot believe I lost that first game 6-0. I just crumbled. Uh, here's Rashford played in behind. Well read by Phil Jones. Just think that across set and help it on its way. Quickly with Sterling Bex back to Deli Alley. Oh, Raheem, you're in. Raheem the dream. Lovely spin. Raheem Sterling! Good save by Jack Butland. Leave that. We'll take the corner. Probably my best move so far, to be fair, of both games. Jordan Henderson to deliver. It's not bad. It's not the best. And he's got an advantage for something there. I'm not entirely too sure what. I can work the ball about quickly here. If Sterling could make me a run, that'd be great. And he has done. We'll use Walker. Jesse Lingard. This is good football. And there is a man in the middle. And Lalana equalises. I did it! I scored a goal! <laughs> oh, I'm more pleased with that than perhaps I should be. But I've done it. Bateson's back line is not impregnable. I've been able to get myself a goal. It's 1-1 here in this second leg. I've played so much better. It's my ball retention that's been a lot better in this in this second leg. I felt a lot better in possession and on the ball than I did in that first game. That's a poor pass from Jesse Lingard. I've gotten lucky with a rebound and that rebound too. Unfortunately, I've lost possession again. And now on the counter-attack, I'm probably going to be in trouble. There are a number of players around on the overlap here. Jordan Henderson just driving at me, running into the space. Thankfully, the defender is there to cut that out. Rose down the line to Sterling. Here's Sterling. It's looking good, this move. Question is, where do I go? He uses the second man press well too. I very rarely find myself playing against people that use it or utilize it as well as, as Bates does. Oh, I read that extra turn. That's a lovely through. Well, this is going to be two. A little dink. Oh, a driven low finish instead. 2-1 to Bateson. It's good counter-attack. Oh, he's dabbing on me and everything now. I mean, I can't, I've got no, I've got no counter to that. I lost the first leg 6-0. He can dab as much as he likes. I can't say a word. I'm going to take Harry Kane off. Through ball. Oh, he's just looked at it. It's like, it's rolling. That's a good ball. It's a great goal. He's rolled across his toes and he's gone, oh, look, he's a football there. Stick a leg out, mate. <laughs> Stick a leg out. 3-1. And so the crumble begins again. Deli with a free kick. How much you give it? to Sterling because he's not going to win any headers and I'm just going to try and float it towards the back post here see if we can get on the end of it if someone makes a run in I'll flick that on come on <laughs> I tried to flick that backwards and he's just headed it away from goal it's a wonderful defensive clearance from Marcus Rashford and I'm probably going to end up conceding oh I read that ball oh probably going to end up conceding a fourth now Marcus Rashford what have you done there was a man free at the back post. All he's got to do is flick that on and he's headed it straight up. Absolute 50p head. Absolute 50p head from Marcus Rashford. I'm currently 10-1 down on aggregate. But I suppose if Barcelona... Not Barcelona. If Brazil... Where Barcelona came from. If Brazil can lose 7-1 in the semi-final of a World Cup, then I can lose 10-1 on aggregate over the course of two legs against Bateson on FIFA, can't I? Maybe. There may be some form of written apology. And to be fair, it's fully justified. This is going to drop to Delhi. I'm going to try and flick it over my shoulder and go for a worldy, but he flicked it and then didn't actually decide to chase after the ball. Picked off there nicely. I've got eight minutes to go. I'd like a second if I can get one. It's a lovely turn from Delhi Alley, although there's absolutely zero acceleration there. Fair, one, two. Oh, I should have perhaps held on to possession there rather than trying to quickly flick it around the corner. Can we challenge for that? No, we can't. This is good football again from Bates. 
It's these through balls. Every single time they find their way through. Vardy's in behind. He'll wait for the, the ball across. Oh, it's well saved. Oh, dear. I just panic. I just... Again, why... Why does the defender watch it go across his toes? It's infuriate. I'm trying so hard not to lose my lose my top. It feels obviously I'm biased, and it will look different when I watch the game play back. But it feels like when I try and play through balls like that, his defenders will stick out a toe, and mine just watch it. It's probably in-game tactics with regards to the way that his defenders work like that. I'm going to concede six again, aren't I? Absolute crumble in this second half. It's probably aggression with regards to his in-game tactics. I don't use any in-game tactics, mainly because I very rarely play online, so I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to in-game tactics. You wouldn't be able to guess that I don't normally play online, would you? The fact that I'm about to go 6-1 down and concede 6 for this second straight game. Three minutes added on and when I clear this that will be game. Well congratulations Bateson. I'm actually I'm genuinely embarrassed that I've been that bad. Genuinely embarrassed. Um, all I can hope for now is to do better in the loser bracket but I, I don't hold out much hope. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go cry in a corner. I'll see you later.